Well, hello everybody. I bet you are wondering, what in the world is he picked out of the trash now? Close to what I did. It's not really trash. It was at Goodwill. So, yeah, that's pretty much my theme. Anyway, let me show you what I got here. Okay, what it is, is a little bitty toy scooter. Uh, electric. It's got an electric motor on it and uh it didn't work when i got it at goodwill but for my purposes i just want the motor i just wanted to know that the motor would run um but since you can ride it i just figured well i'll ride it around a little bit just to play with it before i tear it up but let me show you you know you turn the throttle and down here the back wheel let me get it off the ground, put my foot under it. All right, so what am I gonna do with a kid's scooter? Okay, I'm not gonna be riding it around the neighborhood, which uh, I wouldn't be able to ride it like up and down my road anyway. But this is not gonna be for transportation. The part that I was interested in is not the fact that it does this. I was more interested in the fact that that motor can do this. Let me gently lay it down and I'll show you this motor. Right here is a little brushed electric motor. And it drives a chain that drives the back wheel. You can see the little chain in there, little sprocket chain inside there. And that is what makes this back wheel move. And that is a good sized motor. And with the gearing, since this motor right here can be used like any motor it can be or almost any motor it can be used as a generator now my idea is to take this contraption cut that part off cut it off right here weld this on the other side so i can support this axle right here through the other side and probably mount that rim on there so that this this wheel turns that wheel and it sticks out a little bit that way i can mount some blades on that other rim that i will cut out of a piece of pvc pipe so this little kid scooter kind of thing will become my windmill for my cabin. Why don't we try it and see what we can do? Okay, so right here, we have one Razor scooter. And when I got it, the batteries were shot in it. So what I put in it. But what I have in here to run it is two of these batteries for my weed eater. That's what was powering it. Okay, so what we have here is the motor output. Okay, so what I have is, this is one of the uh, LED lights that I put in the bus, Zephyr, and also in my camper van, Buster. I use these throughout because they're pretty power efficient. And to show you what this motor will do, we'll just plug it in. This is a lead coming straight from the motor. I'll show you there is nothing else in this box at all. Nothing else in here. 
no batteries, no nothing. Get this out of the way. Now we'll take this. And when this motor starts turning, it's going to produce DC current. And I went from what used to be the positive of the motor to the positive of the light. The negative of the motor to the negative of the light. As you can see, this motor, when you spin it, and that's not really spinning all that fast, it is enough to light that bulb up with no problem. Here is what we have so far. I've put the bolt all the way through. I lift it up like this because I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend that and put it up here as a support on this side. That way the whole thing is not supported just by this one piece. That way it, it can be more solid. What I've done, I took a wire spool, plastic wire spool, and I screwed it all the way around. I got like eight screws going all the way around into that wheel. And it's mounted good and solid. And good and straight. So this piece of the crate that the uh, Hawk motorcycle came in. All right, so now what we have, run it as a motor here. Whoa. Yep, it runs. All right, so what we have here is we have, of course, the scooter uh, frame here still. But I moved the point that this is held over this way. So now all the torque when the chain is pulling on it or this is pulling back and forth it's good and solid it doesn't move before you could grab and move this around now you can't so that right there is the generator part of it now what we need to do is figure out our voltage how how many volts we planning on getting out of it here okay now you can see what we have here we have what i have converted from a scooter into a generator and it is hooked directly into the meter you can see the meter leads right here and there is the meter so you can see what it's putting out Okay, so I'm not going to run this all the way up here. All 
Okay, it doesn't. Right in there. 13 volt. Go up a little bit more. I mean, it will. It will put around 31 or 32 volts out just for this drill. And that's uh, 1,250 RPMs is what that drill will turn. At 1,000, at about 1,200 RPMs, you're getting about 30 volts. Um, it's not going to be spinning anywhere near that fast once it's actually got the propellers and everything on it. It will probably be spinning about half that, about 600 RPM, somewhere around there. So that was about half speed. So at about half trigger pull, I know that is not an ac accurate measurement of speed of RPMs, but I don't have a tachometer to measure it. But from what I can see, that's too much. That is not very fast. And actually, you could, if you can get the gears or the sprockets, if you could change out sprockets and stuff like that, you could re-gear this and even get it better. Even get it at a lower RPM or make it take a higher RPM, depending on what you're running it on. Now, this would probably be a good thing for uh, micro hydro too okay right here this is one of the lights that came out of Zephyr and it's a 75 watt bulb let's see if this will light this up there you go Just with me pushing on it with the drill. So we are putting out, we, we do have a generator. We are putting out DC voltage. And enough that we can actually do something with it. Now, all we need to do is bolt on some fan blades. That will be the next step, but for right now, we have a generator here that will be a wind generator once I get done with it. And this will help to power the off-grid cabin, the pallet wood cabin that I built. It's already powered with water power and it's powered with sun power because I have solar panels and I have a water generator. Now, I want to have a wind generator because I have noticed the output of my solar panels of course goes down in the winter because the sun is lower on the horizon, you have more cloudy days, have more rainy days, and you just are not gonna have as much solar. But do you know what you have more of in the winter? You have wind. So the wind I've noticed at times is really blowing out here. And not as much in the valley as it is up on top of the hill. But that's where this will end up is up on top of the hill. Now we are going to have to do a little bit of waterproofing. Now this is made to run on the bottom of that little scooter so this motor is kind of sealed up pretty good um, it's even got a rubber seal back here so it is kind of sealed up pretty good now i know it's not waterproof but we will be doing some sort of a cover for it to protect it from water because it is going to be out in the weather. Now one thing about this, it's going to have a little bit more maintenance because you do have a chain 
that you have to keep lubricated and you have to adjust it every now and then or you know it, it will have a little bit of maintenance but it shouldn't be too bad anyway that's going to be a video for today it's probably getting pretty long um went from a scooter i could ride to something i can hold in my hand that at this moment does nothing so that's progress i guess anyway i appreciate everybody watching and i'll see y'all on the next one